Good morning to each and everyone. Today we're going to talk about statistics and probability, which is the topic is solving problems involving sampling distribution of the sample. Hindi sa topic na ito meron tayong dalawang formula at ito ang unang formula which is the z is equal to the sample mean minus the population mean over the standard deviation if the problem is dealing with an individual data obtained from the population so gagamitin na natin ito kapag wala tayong sample size Ito naman ang formula kung saan meron tayong sample size. If the problem is dealing with the data about the sample mean or n observations. So, may ito natin dito na z is equal to the sample mean minus the population mean over the standard deviation over the square root of the sample size. Ngayon, meron akong nakahanggang problem dito at solve natin. The problem is the average time it takes a group of junior high school students to complete a certain examination is 47.3 minutes. The standard deviation is 3 minutes. Assume that the variable is normally distributed. What is the prob probability that a randomly selected senior high school student will complete the examination in less than 44 minutes? So, meron tayong step by step dito. Ang uh, step 1 ay write the given data. So, nakita natin sa problem ay meron tayong population mean na 47.3. Meron tayong standard deviation na 3. At meron naman tayong sample mean na 44. Since wala tayong sample size, ano ang inihingi na ito? Uh, P, quantity of x is less than 44 since wala tayong sample size ito ang gagamitin natin formula z is equal to the population mean the, but the sample mean minus the population mean over the, the standard deviation so kapag kinumpita natin to substitute natin ang mga given so 44 minus 47.3 over 3 is equal to negative 1.1 at kung hahanapin natin sa C table ang area ng 1.1 ay makukuha natin ang 0.3643 so ang hinahanap natin ay x is less than 44 so kapag ganun since negative ang 1.1 at isinabi, ay sinasab ang hinahanap ay less than isusubtract natin ang area natin sa 0 0.5. So, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3643 is equal to 0 0.1357. Therefore, the probability that a randomly selected junior high school students will complete the examination in less than 44 minutes is 0 0.1357 or 13.57%. So, kung igagrap naman, kung igagrap naman, isa, kung ilalagyan natin sa normal curve, yan ito maging itsura niya. So, negative 1.1 here, then pa uh, sa less than so to the left tayo so okay next meron pa akong isang problem dito um, the average time it takes same problem the average time it takes a group of senior high school students to complete a certain examination is 47.3 minutes the standard deviation is 8 minutes the last time the last problem was 3 minutes now it's 8 so assume that the variable is normally distributed if 39 randomly selected junior high school to take the examination, what is the probability that the mean time it takes the group to complete the test will be less than 44 minutes? So, dito may meron na tayong sample size, which is the 39. Again, same steps, write the given data. We have the population mean, 47.3, the standard deviation, 8 the sample mean 44 dapat sin supposedly that may go with dito ang x dahil may sample size na tayo so another pick ay sample size which is 39 and step 2 ganun pa rin ang hinahanap ay ang x is less than 44 so to the left pa rin sya kung sa curve natin ilalagay 
identify the formula to be used since may um, sample size na tayo gagawin natin na z is equal to the sample mean minus the population mean over the standard deviation over the square root of sample the sample size Compute the probability, so ito na sa, sa computation, so isasubstitute natin, Sin, so 44 minus 47.3 over 8 over the square root of 39 is equal to negative 2.58, negative 2.58 kapag hinanap natin ng area nya sa C, sa C table, makikita natin ang 0.4951, since hinahanap ay x is less than 44 pa rin, and negative ang nakuha natin sagot. So, i-minus natin ang error natin si 0.5 ulit. So, 0.5 minus 0.4951 is equal to 0.0049. Therefore, the prob probability that 39 randomly selected junior high school students will complete the test in less than 45 minutes is 0.0049 or 0.49%. So, kung ilalagyan natin yan sa curve, Nakikita natin dito na yung itong line na to, nasa 2.58 siya, negative 2.58, at sinab since sinabi ay less than, pababa naman, to the difference siya. So, last example, Problem. the average time it takes a group of senior high school students to compete a certain examination is 47.3 minutes. The standard deviation is 8 minutes. Assume that the variable is normal distributed. Since pareha pa rin ang tanong ng problem, iba naman ang tanong. Um, if 29 randomly selected grade 6 students take the examination, what is the probability that the mean time it takes the group to complete the test will be more than 44 minutes? So... Step 1 of it, by the given data, the population mean is 47.3, the standard deviation is 8, the sample mean is equal to 44, the sample size is 29. So, yung sinasabi naman dito ay more than, so, dapat, dapat ito ay naka, nakabaliktad at magiging x is greater than 44. So, without that. The step 3 is identify the formula to be used. So, since may sample size pa rin tayo, ganun pa rin, they is equal to the sample mean minus the population mean over the standard deviation over the square root of sam the sample size. Step for complete the probability unit, substitute natin yung mga given. So, 44 minus 47.3 over 8 over the square root of 29 is equal to negative 2.22. And if we find the area of the 2.22 sa Z table, makukuha natin ang 0.4868. So, kasi sabi, ang hinahalap naman dito ay ang X is greater than 44. So, kung negative yung nakuha natin Z score, and hinahanap ay more than i-add na naman natin sa 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4868 is equal to 0 0.9868 therefore the probability that 39 random selected grade 6 students will complete that test in more than 44 minutes is 0 0.9868 or 98.68% so kung ilalagin natin yung sucker ito ang magiging kanakalabasan niya nang hindi na rin dito sa yung line na ito nasa 2.22 siya and more than more than 2 more than negative 2.22 kaya ito yung shade ito yung dapat so that's all thank you for listening and hope you learned something today thank you very much